every time all right i do believe we are live let me see if the uh notification actually went out this time sometimes i get the notification i don't know if i'm subscribed to myself or what but uh sometimes it pops up and says i'm live i'll know here in a second though if it went out um last week it went out and that worked but uh Oh, it must have. Matt McNicholas is here. Chook, how's it going? So it must have went out. Uh, you know, Felton usually tells me if it did or not. But, uh, oh, yeah, definitely went out. Oklahoma Wild EDC is here. Welcome. Ant Keck is here. Chook, no. All right. it's right. Uh, we're getting more and more light out. It's been nice. I got the notification. All right. Thank you. So we'll we'll, we'll have a good day. Uh, good uh, chat. Doing good, BC Outdoorsman. Welcome, Darren. Darren Blair is here. Welcome, old Doc Sims. Always glad to have you. Greetings, greetings, and salutations. Wonder if I can make this thing bigger. I think my kid's all right playing games on here. And uh, Yankee has such a horrible bandwidth that uh, his kids can't play games while he streams. I think I'm fine because I've got like the some crazy internet plan. It's, it's like the fastest of the fast. I'm seeing if I can uh, make this chat thing bigger because so I always have trouble keeping up with everybody's stuff. Lab time, welcome. USA Backcountry, hunting and fishing. Thomas Pickering, Cole Bruley. Are you guys getting any lagging in the uh, in the video stream? Sometimes it seems like, oh, Sunik's here. No, Sunik. Um, is, it, is the uh, stream lagging at all? So you have them stop gaming. Nice New York buck, congrats. Aunt Keck is here. Yeah, thank you. I, I, let's talk about New York a little bit. So I got a few things to show off. MG Monkey, all right. Hey, you made it this week. Welcome. So what what did I get? Oh, I went to uh, went to EDC Alaska, and I just kept getting things. Like I didn't know they had Hanks, and but I got this retro knife. This is a case case knife, I believe. But check out another slip joint retro knife it's all orange 70s looking that's why i wanted it i wanted a little 70s these things are fun this thing was only 45 dollars. he actually gave me a deal on it let's uh give him some stuff kinfolk welcome a little buffing oh okay let me uh let me tell him to hang up on the games real quick scream at the kids here aiden uh you guys can watch your shoulder no game here Okay, we'll watch your show. All right, we'll see if that makes it better. Even though I got the fastest internet around, of can you know, playing video games and stuff, uh, I'll probably mess it up. All right, only always tactical insight freedoms here. Minor buffering, okay. Little buffering. I'll let, hopefully this will get better. But um, yeah, I got the 70s knife, the case knife I'm really happy with. It's just been kind of fun. And then they actually had a few Hanks there. I, I could get like some superhero cotton or something. I'm sew my own Hank. This is from Kaleidoscope Quilt Company. They had some other ones that were uh, kind of collector's items. But this one's pretty cool. It's got some arrows um, and... That, but I, I didn't know that they had all this stuff. And then what really got me was, um, if you, buy, I found a bead. I didn't. I was like, you guys sell beads, so I got this bead from Juan. They had nine dollar beads and twelve dollar beads, but I got this bead. And if you buy a bead, his wife Susie will uh, tie it with the, the lanyard deal on your knife. So I got this little skull with a rose in its mouth. Oh whatever brass skull and then uh, it was cool to watch her do it because I was trying to learn these knots but I'll never figure it out and she went ahead and tied me a lanyard deal uh, on the bench made proper so now it's easier to pull out of this slip I pull out of my pocket and I do that and then it's easier to get cards out and stuff so anyways it was just one of those never-ending collectible things that uh, I'm pretty happy with um, Hello from North Carolina, Jordan McCormick's here. Too late, Matt Nicholas says. 
Okay, seems better now. I just spent 115 on screws and deep carry clip for my ZT knife. Oh, those are nice. I've been looking at those. Then ordered a brass PM2. What's wrong with me? Oh, he's got the bug too. Matt Nichols is talking crap while I'm gone. Ah, oh, God, it's better. Um, I need a nice first light knife for about 145. Good all around sharp hunting knife. That'd be nice. You say back country and hunting's here, hunting and fishing. Um, and then um, I hadn't been to, how is it, Northern Knives? I used to think it was Great Northern Knives. There was an old store that had that that same, but it's on Fifth Avenue. Was, uh, Northern Knives is what their uh, page says and everything. But I went to Northern Knives and uh, those guys were really cool. I talked to all the guys behind the counter and I'm actually going to join them probably on one of their shows. They do, uh, they just started a YouTube channel this month. Northern Knives is a local mom and pop's knife shop in Anchorage, Alaska. Um, and they started this, uh, they're a bunch of characters, but they, they drink whiskey and smoke cigars. I don't drink, but I'll, I'll turn blue and take a couple puffs from a cigar, but I'm going to join them on one of their chats. They don't do live yet, but, uh, they've been putting out, those guys know a lot about knives, but, uh, I'm going to review one of their new knives and I'll go join them in their thing, but, uh, check out their YouTube if you can. It's just Northern Knives. Um, Good group of guys though i have talked to them for a while and they had some cool stuff like i i went there they actually have a uh, cold steel karambit for 45 dollars has the the sheath and everything i'm probably gonna pick up at some point that is tight. tough to get through the skull oh i'm still um buffing a little bit oh yeah congrats on 6k um easy fixed blades good hunting knives for the price what's your choice of knife to carry in alaska bush oh i don't have the greatest knives right now i have that k-bar uh it's big because i can hack through necks and spines um for uh really it's a uh it's one of those replaceable blade uh skinning knives the surgical uh havalon knife is my go-to one because then i i can quickly skin and meat out bone out stuff and then and then you just need something else to to hack through the things all you need is a extremely sharp Havilon and you know I can get through a whole animal or something depending on how big it is maybe it'll take me two blades to get through an animal but yeah I like the Havilon um, but I, I need a good quality hunting knife like a fixed blade like a high quality buck or something like that so um, right now I just take a k-bar and sometimes I usually have my pocket knife like a bench made and then those Havilon uh, razor knives so um, I need to up my game and get a really nice hunting knife with the gut hook and all that stuff. So, but I'm, I've just got into knives this year. So hopefully, um, hopefully when you hit 10 K, the chat will be too busy. That'll probably happen. Um, square braid with a schmuckle, schmuckle tally skull. Nice touch. Um, do you like the Smith and Wesson SDVE? Yeah, I do. It's, uh, Cole Brule said that, um, for a budget nine millimeter, it's good. I reviewed one and uh, man, this guy got it at a pawn shop for like, I think he paid under $200 or $200 for it. He'd never had any problems. I got to shoot it. Um, it's a real good deal, deal for the money. And it's got the extra um, side serrations up front. So I, that is a good gun. I, I would suggest that. Mora knives are great also. I was looking at all kinds of knives. Um, but yeah, I need a really good, like a nice, like $300 hunt or on up hunting knife, you know, just a classic wooden handle fixed blade hunting knife. That's something I need in my life. And you, you can just sharpen it up really nice. But, um, that was cool going over to Northern knives and just seeing all their stuff. And eventually I want a Damascus blade, what blah, 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 whatever. I'll get it. But, um, oh, I did get the patches. So I want to tell you guys to deal with this. Um, Battle patches, uh, he, he loves doing my stuff because he always gets airsoft patches. And uh, he's they're just like cheesy airsoft teams doing like their paramilitary style. But he likes doing things like this, so he really enjoyed this project. So I got my patches. Um, and the deal is for my 6K that if you join my Patreon, I'll send one of, one of these. So, you know, a dollar a month or whatever. Um, and these are $9, $12 shipped. I'll sell a small amount too. Um, so email me at uh, Chooks Outdoor at Live, um, Chooks Outdoor at Outlook.com, and uh, I, I can sell you one of these too. Um, we'll just see how it goes, but uh, yeah, and that was miserable stuff in patches. I am going to, there's a couple guys in Canada and one guy in Poland from last time. I'm going to send you guys a package, and I've got a few Patreon supporters. I'm going to send you guys a few patches. 
So, but anyways, uh, this was vinyl, um, which is weird because uh, the vinyl was cheaper than the PVC. But upon feeling it and looking at it, I cannot tell a difference. But it feels just like PVC. So, anyways, this one's kind of cool because it doesn't have any words on it. Uh, there's been a lot of interest in it already just because it's the uh, Alaska State with the cartoon bear in it. So, I'm going to try to make more collectibles and put more of these out. But you need a good bushcraft knife. I do. They are all, all terms for good fixed blades. Are the new patches on the way? Uh, yep, patches are here. Blue Steel 44 is here. Welcome. Yeah, so that's the patch. So, yeah, just uh, for the next month, I guess I'll, I'll stop it on uh, uh, February 20th. Um, if, if you sign up for Patreon, a dollar a month or whatever, send you one of these. Um, but otherwise, I'll sell them for, uh, what is it? 12 bucks shipped. Um, so just email me, but oh, I'm excited about the patches. Excited about the, then I get the Velcro back. So I need to start wearing this. There we go. Now I don't have to hold it up. You guys can just see the patch like that. These patches are cool too. And, uh, Prometheus works. If you guys ever get a chance to get a Prometheus works patch, sometimes these are the ones when they do their special drops, you can buy a patch for 10 bucks and then overnight it's worth a hundred bucks. Uh, that kind of collectible thing. That, it's weird. Juan's trying to get me into tops now. Like you buy a top for uh, 50 bucks, a little, you know, one of those little dreidels, your spinning tops, and then next week they're worth 500 bucks. I just don't get it. It's crazy. MG Monkey, thank you. Yeah, it's good looking. Gray Ghost's here. So, yeah, the patches, I'm excited about that. Um, what else is going on? We've just been talking about uh, hunting. Bear hunting is coming up. Um, something cool. So I did, I'm uh, going away from RMRs. Uh, this thing is safe. I took the, uh, man, that slide stuff is teeny. I took the, uh, Romeo one off the Legion, uh, just because I can't get it low enough in those special chuke holsters that Nightfall makes. Um, I was at a birthday party and this thing was, you know, the big high combat grip and, uh, it just printed so bad. I bent down to pick something up and you just see this big gun butt sticking out the side of my shirt. And you know, these women are like, Oh, he's packing a gun at the birthday party. Um, so I just hate that. I, I don't like printing. I like it to be very concealable. So I probably will keep the suppressor height sights on there. Uh, but they don't make cover plates. So what I did is, uh, I found a website called Shapeways where this guy dev, development tactical or tactical dev or something he uh he makes uh cover plates that fix it fits the 226 legion uh and he's going to make one that'll fit this so i already ordered it so that's going to be interesting to get a custom cover plate on that and iron sights are cooler anyways i, I do like red dots but uh there's guys that shoot better with iron sights and they are faster um so but i mean there's uh, iron sights are good for longer range shooting them definitely can be more accurate for longer range. Chook limited edition. That's right. Red flag laws are spreading like wildfire. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. Yeah, they are. That's scary. USMC K bar should make a great bushcraft knife. I agree. K bars are, are nice. William X. Welcome. Yeah, you, you get a patch. Um, so, yeah, going away from the red dot so I can carry it because uh, this thing uh, is so low and this is a full size gun and I'll make this safe. Um, and I did want to show you guys the Punisher. Uh, this thing is safe. Um, the Punisher grips are in, but uh, and I'm going to do a video next week on that. But this thing is so low that it hardly prints, especially with a baggy t-shirt, but you know, with this thing, it wouldn't print anyways, but, uh, I just don't have to worry about it. So, uh, that's why I do not want a red dot anymore. Uh, but these are the Hogue aluminum grips for the P220, uh, with the Punisher skull, uh, that I'm very happy with. They, um, you gotta be careful about the screws. Like I'll probably get some aftermarket screws that sit a little deeper, and I did put some uh, thread locker on there, but um, yeah, turned out great. I'm, I'm pretty happy with those grips. Were there any nurses at the party? <laughs> Andrew Summers was saying that. Um, no, but normally there would be total progressives. Armament Axe is welcome. 
Um, let's see, U.S. Backcountry and Fishing put a video up. Um, mm, nurses and tech is saying that. Um, yeah, I've been talking to a nurse lately too, myself. So, um, what else do I have? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's why I took off the red dot too, because um, I kind of jury rigged this. I got a uh, fixed up the battle belt because I want to start training again. So, this is, I think, Condor battle belt. I got some better stuff on here, but I, I got a Condor holster, just the regular holster. And I used the uh, Safari Land ALS holes, and I got it on there. And then I added uh, this just by threading it through the back. I got the Safari Land leg thing. So now I've got a decent battle belt again. And then as soon as the red dot, you know, I get the cover plate on there, I'm going to just carry this when I go out to the gravel pit. And uh, I'll have a battle belt. And I got some speed holsters there. But everybody should have a... A battle belt, you know, especially if maybe something not that big, but it's fun to train with. And, uh, you know, just if, you know, STF, uh, SH, F, <laughs> SHF situations, you can put on a battle belt and then you don't have to worry about lifting your shirt up and stuffing and deal with things. Um, so that is a, uh, yeah, that's just a Condor holster. This is like the $20, you know, Condor holster. So it's not a speed holster. Eventually, I will get another uh, Safari Land probably. I like Safari Land a little bit better than Black Hawk. Black Hawks are nice, though. Um, so that's what I'm going with with that. So it's been a lot of fun. Just join. How long have you been going? Oh, 16 minutes. Johnny's Domains here. Robert Garcia, any opinion on using 762-54R for hunting in Alaska? Oh, yeah, I have a huge opinion on that. That's what I want to do. That's why I was trying to get that PSL uh, because, man, that's that's the Russian 30-06. You could kill everything in Alaska with that. Uh, even a Moisin, you know, Moisin again. Um, and I used to have some couple different Moisins. I wouldn't mind getting another one. It's a shame that they went down and up in price, but that's just how it goes. You know, people complain about that, but they're... They just cost more now. It used to be 100 bucks, 150 bucks. Now it's up to 400 sometimes, you know, three, four hundred dollars. Um, I do really want a, a 54 rimmed uh, rifle and hopefully a PSL. That was my plan to get one this summer, but it's it's not going to happen this summer. I had too much stuff going on to, to get that, you know, and I'm, I'm not doing any more trading. I'm a little bit, but I'm trying to just buy guns and keep them. So, um Probably next year I will hunt with that, but uh, ammo is so cheap. It's a huge round, yeah. Uh, and a lot of people surprisingly do hunt with uh, with the Russian 54 rimmed round around here. People uh, take moose with Moisnagants out in rural Alaska. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, boy, somebody told me a, good, a cool story how he, uh, oh, a guy from up north on one of my 10 millimeter videos was saying that he, he packs a 44 at the minimum for polar bear when he's around polar bears, but he does use 10 millimeter uh, for interior or coastal far northern uh, brown bears. So I did change my mind about the 43X a little bit. Um, oh, the 350 Legend, it looks really interesting. All these new uh, rounds look very interesting. I like them all that are coming out. I did change my mind a little bit about the 43X. I almost got one, but then I was like, uh, I'd rather have a, a Glock 26, really, um, because I like the subcompact uh, frame and everything. But I did change my mind. Juan's wife got a 43X and has been carrying it and really likes it. And then I started thinking about how I'm kind of hypocritical because this is a single stacked 45, and it just feels so good in the hand. Now, before, I would say, why would I want a full-size single stacked 45? Um, and then uh, just, just the way it feels, uh, is just really nice. So a full size single stacked is the Glock 48, but the 43 is almost that size. You know, it's both of them are getting closer to Glock 19 size. Um, not the 43 X, but I would like one, but I'm, I'm not going to buy one at this point. I'd rather get a 26, but it, if, if, uh, I had one, uh, I would probably carry it. I, um, I did change my mind about it a little bit. Have you been showing SHOT Show coverage? If so, is there anything you are particularly excited about? A little bit. Yeah, there's uh, not the new Daniel Defense Rifle, that's for sure. That is an ugly 
you know, they didn't change anything, but a few things like I'm still waiting for the uh, PSA MP5 clone to come out. What else? There's a, I can't think of everything right now, but yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff coming out. So I'll do a whole video about my picks. Maybe um, I have them all bookmarked. Um, I was just checking it out last night, like a 357 Maxim rimless, and I think it would work in an AR platform. Good for us in Ohio and straight wall for deer. Oh yeah, that uh, that new straight wall cartridge uh, that they're going to make for the um, uh, who is making that? It's going to be a lever gun cartridge. It's not quite a four, uh, 4570, but it's very fast. It's more power than a 3030. That looks pretty cool. I was interested in that, but I still think the uh, 4570 is better. Thomas Austin, welcome. Hey, all right, Sean Martinez is here. Welcome. PC Bullet Empire. Love the 357 Bullet anyways. Uh, has more power than a 3030 and the same recoil as 243. Good for youngsters afraid of the 450 bus master and 457. Yeah, that's the one that I saw. The new straight wall. But they didn't put uh, the speed. They said it was very fast, but they didn't actually put the feet per second on the article I saw. You know, say backcountry hunting and fishing. Yep, I read that also. On the road, lost the signal. Take care. All right, Thomas Austin, have a good one. Samurai 3K, new patch looks good. Thanks. Yeah, I got the new patch up here. So you just email me about it or uh, yeah, join the uh, uh, Patreon and I'll send you one in the next month. PC Bullet Empire and the 357 rifle bullets you can use. I think it would be an awesome round. I need to get a uh, um, one of those 350 SIG autos. What is it? The uh, 350 SIG round. 357. I still can't believe I never got a gun in that. Thanks, Joan. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the patch. It's uh, yeah, That's pretty exciting. So what uh, what else can I talk about? Um, yeah, I'm going to have fun going to that knife show. We'll go to Great Northern Knives and uh, joke around with those guys. They were all pretty funny guys. Um, yeah, I showed you guys all my new stuff. I'm still waiting on the uh, Spyderco Karahawk Karambit. Um, because I do like the, the fixed blade karambits, but those are, those are harder to carry around. I mean, you can do it, but then, then you've got something else sticking up. So I'm going to try the, uh, the other one. 350 legend. That's right. That's, that's the one. Um, oh yeah, you'd mentioned it. I forgot it was called that, but yeah, that looks pretty interesting. Um, I would also like the lever guns in Creedmoor that, the that they're going to put out. Those look fun. I mean kind of weird and it's kind of a abomination in a way to but uh, it's pretty innovative too to put a newer round like that in a lever gun i would like one how do you think a nine millimeter would perform against a minnesota black bear i think it would be better than a sharp stick um you know unless it's a black bear that's 900 pounds from eating grain all day um i i would want a 40 or even a 45 over a nine millimeter but um with the right ammo, I mean, I'd, I'd feel confident in the lower 48 in black bear country, not brown bear country, uh, for self-protection. Um, if that's all you got, yeah, go out and get some extreme penetrators or buffalo bore, you know, something heavy. 357 SIG is a 40 neck down to 357 ball. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't got uh, something changed in 350 SIG, too. They're a little, little pricier ammo-wise, but it is a really cool round. Um, a lot of people like that. How long till spring bears, Chuke? Well, some people start as early as April, um, but uh, May will be when I go out. Typically, um, I go out the first week of June. That's what I did for years and years. But last year, I went out uh, late May. Um, just depends on how much snow was left and everything. But uh, yeah, talking to... Uh, few people. I'm going to have to narrow it down. A lot of possibilities, but I haven't figured out exactly what's going to be my big hunt and what's going to be my little weekend hunts. And um, yeah, we should be able to get on some bears though. That's, that's pretty exciting. I cannot wait. Bear meat is actually, spring bear, black bear meat is actually my favorite meat. I think it tastes better than caribou and moose and everything. Um, about I like it about the same as black tail deer. This black tail deer is really good. 9 millimeters is better than 45 due to better penetration. Just get buffalo bore, hard cast lead. Yeah, that could be true. It does penetrate better. 
Oh, two brown bears were killed with 45 ACPs. Uh, oh, this was like five years ago. They weren't charging, though. That's the thing. So I love hearing stories about that, um, just with the, the different rounds that people put down their bears with. And there was the guy that put the bear down with his 9 millimeter, and he had the buffalo boar rounds. I used to think they were extreme penetrators, but um, he emptied the clip, and then he took pictures of it. It was a guide. It actually put that bear down with a 9 millimeter. That was a really cool story. We'll have to use round nose 6.5 Creedmoor if the lever gun is tube. Not sure how that would. Ah, that's a good point because you can't have the the points on it, you know, setting them off in the tube is, is what they're worried about. So, but I'm going to have the 4570 anyways. I'm excited to hunt with that. So, we shall see. I will have to get a new scope for the... Uh, I just want one that I, th I think I shot, I think the scar ruined my um, Burris scope, and then that's the one that's on the uh, 270, so I'm going to try to get a light, since I have a mountain gun, I need a lightweight uh, scope, so I may get a Nikon, but if I can afford it, I'll get Leopold's, Leopold's lightweights, because they make one of the lighter scopes for those mountain guns. Does any make round or flat nose for 6.5? I haven't seen any. That's a good question because you would need that. I think Henry put out a lever action 6.5 cream mortar, but it's mag fed. Oh, right. That might be the, uh, I might have read that about them. They're making a mag fed. That's still pretty cool though. Too bad it's not tube fed. That, that would be better. I, I like tube fed. Wyoming, welcome. Levi Tolman's here. Oh, and I talked to my buddy and Homer. Uh, even though I got the fancy AR-15, we, we're going to rattle can our ARs again this spring. As soon as it warms up and the snow is gone, uh, which is cool because Homer hardly has any snow right now anyways, but uh, it warms up faster there. Um, well, it's cooler in their summers, so, but that, they, it, there'll be less snow there, but, um, yeah, I'm going to, this spring, I'll go down to Homer, hopefully do some king fishing, uh, you know, end of the winter king run, maybe even in March, I, the snow won't be gone by then, but we are going to rattle can some AR-15s down in Homer again, and I'll, I'll put a camo job on my, uh, fancy pantsy AR-15, so I'm excited about that. Do you soak your bear meat in ice water before cooking? I haven't heard of that, but um, the fish bear, I still got a bag of fish bear meat. I already processed the duck into breakfast sausage, but I got a bag of uh, fish bear meat that was a black bear eating fish in the fall. It kind of stinks like fish. I'm going to try soaking it in buttermilk, although that's expensive. Uh, salt water too, maybe just salt water. Try to draw some of that blood out, and then I'll put uh, a lot of brown sugar and breakfast sausage spices in it and see if I could save that meat, um, but we'll see. I'm gonna put a red dot on my SIG P226. Nice, I'm taking mine off uh, of the 229 um, just because I can't, I can't get it in this low holster and I wanna start carrying it every day. Um, Hornaday makes soft point 4570 and 337 for better long range ac accuracy. That's true, those Lever evolutions are more accurate with the with the red polymer tip on there. So oh, I didn't get a notification. So yeah, we're planning out our uh, our our trips. Um, I may uh, I may go back across the inlet and uh, and do a bait stand for bear. And if I do that, I will try to get a grizzly bear with my recurve bow because that would just be the ultimate. Um, I don't like hunting over bait for bears, uh, as much. And my dad is always giving me crap for that. It's not fair chase. It's not fair chase, son. Every time I hunt over bait. Um, so he likes it when I'm just on the beach stalking bears or out in the woods and stuff. So, and I enjoy that more too. But, uh, if I can get a brown bear with a recurve bow, that would probably be the, uh, that would be the ultimate height of my Alaska hunting career ever. I heard you can make good oil from bear fat, but I don't hunt bear yet, so I wouldn't know. I did, uh, I gave this Indian lady a bunch of bear fat because um, she said it was good for joints, and she rendered it down uh, with oil, but uh, I didn't, uh, I told her it was a fish bear, and I think she was used to regular bear fat, so I sent her a bunch of 
fish bear fat. And then she was like, oh, it stinks. It's rancid. And I was like, oh, it's just the rotten fish it was eaten in September. And she was like, okay. So she added some other stuff like lemon oil or something to it. And then she was happy. But um, yeah, you, you uh, people use it for all kinds of stuff, but you rub it in your joints. Good for arthritis and stuff. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. In Ohio, they say straight wall pistol cartridge for the rifle deer hunting, but 4570 is on that list along with many rounds I don't want to shoot from a pistol. Oh, that would break your wrist. I like your father. George John Smith said that. Yeah, it's not fair chase. So, yeah, it's, fair chase is better anyways. I want to find an RMR. I don't have to mill a slide for my 1911. Uh, you can get those mounts. Um, let's see. Uh, Greg from GS Holsters, he, he shoots professionally. He goes to all the three-gun matches. And for his pistol, he's got an M&P um, pistol. Uh, he's got the Smith & Wesson, and he's got one of those big slide mounts that sticks way up. He's got a big red dot on it. And it's kind of interesting. I like the milled slides better, but I'm getting away from that anyways. I just like iron sights now for pistols just because I, I can get them in this low pistol holster. No, chook. Uh, bear fat is good for everything. Cooking, boot dressing, grease your truck frame. When I killed that uh, brown bear, the, it, it hadn't been eating fish. It was a spring brown bear, more of an interior bear. I made that cheeseburger. I ground it down put some pork fat in it and um i made I, I made this cheeseburger i fried it up uh and then i even baked it because i was worried about getting trichinosis there uh, there's some people get really sick up here eating raw you know bear meat that's you know raw at all if you, you it's got to be well done uh but the bear grease soaked into the french fries that i was baking in the oven and so these French fries were just fried in bear grease, basically, and it was so good. One of the best cheeseburgers I've ever had. So I, I would like another uh, brown bear. Giving anyone a fish bear is wrong, you know, save that country hunting and fishing. I told her, I tried to warn her it was a fish bear. Uh, we'll see if I can save the meat, though. If I, can, if I can draw out a bunch of the blood. Some people claim that they've done it. And I don't think this one was that bad. You know, you... Uh, Old timers, when they shoot big brown bears, used to take clothespins and put it over their noses so they wouldn't vomit while they were skinning out uh, a, a brown bear on the river. And this was like in October after it had been eating rotten, rotten salmon. And I, I guess they are just disgusting. This one wasn't that bad. In fact, I didn't even notice the smell. But I had also been fly fishing, catching salmon. I had salmon all over my hands. My whole body probably stunk like salmon, so I was probably, you know, gutting this bear, and I didn't smell anything because I already smelled like salmon. So, I, But I really don't think it was that bad because some of the bears smell like rotten salmon. I think this bear was eating more fresher salmon, uh, so it was just a little fishy tasting. So I, I kind of think I might be able to save the meat. We'll see. Did shoot a 458 Win Mag out of a Thompson Contender once. And once was enough. My brother, partner, shot the 458 a lot, a lot longer. 458 months. Yeah, that'll that'll hit hard. I'll break your shoulder. Yeah, my buddy uh, Carl is really into contenders. I'm gonna start hanging out with him. Uh, hopefully, he'll get a hunt with me this summer. But he he gets all those weird Wildcat JDJ cartridges that he and then he reloads for them. Uh, super cheap because he'll get one, you know, a rebarreled Wildcat. Uh, uh, barrel for his Thompson container and it's only like a couple hundred bucks and it's basically having like a brand new rifle um, so it's kind of a neat way to hunt and they're so light like his Thompson contenders are three or four pounds it's just ridiculous and you know they're lighter than my mountain rifle but it's one shot too but if you're a good hunter that's all you need is one shot and then you can reload pretty quickly so those Thompson contenders are cool I, sh I should have got into that save some money Put enough Tabasco sauce in it. It's all good. I mean, Nax is saying, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to try to do that in the next couple weeks. That'll uh, that'll make some room in the freezer. I got to get uh, Hammerheart that bear head, too. He's going to boil it down for me and start bugging him about that. Have you heard of the WowTac BSS V3 flashlight? Great EDC light for 45 bucks. Ah, oh, now you're talking my language. 1050 lumens. That's better than the uh, Olight one for $75 I was looking at. Interesting. 
Uh, must be a Chinese brand. Wow, tack. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, I would like an extra uh, pistol light just to throw on something. I don't like uh, carrying uh, weapons with pistol lights as much. It just adds a little bit more bulk. Although I guess it doesn't matter because it's already in your pants. Never shot an African game round, but I've heard 338 Win Mag kicks more than 375 do it being a more fast kicking round opposed to a hard push. Well, at least Chuck's got the uh, break on that 338 he got from me. That, that gun uh, kicked like a 30 out 6 because it had that uh, break on it, so that was nice. But yeah, those uh, 338 Win Mag's a, a good round. I'm a Little bummed I don't have that anymore. A 300 win mag, some people say, is too small for dangerous game. Uh, but there's plenty of people that kill huge brown bears and moose with their 300 win mags up here every year. So I'm not worried about it. Contender pistol with a big muzzle break, but it still hurt. Oh, wow, it did have a muzzle break. So anyways, I got the um, Patreon address in the uh, description there if you want to become a patreon member get a patch otherwise i'll be selling a few uh a few of the patches so you can email me there at chooksoutdoor.outlook.com what else is going on just been uh talk to my buddies about hunting bears that's all everybody's talking about and then uh sometime in february the uh hunts come out they release the draw tag winners which I didn't even put in for anything, but um, I'm interested to see uh, what some of the guys I work with get. Non-fish bear is some of the best eating, right? Yes, you are right. Uh, my uncle prefers black bear meat to any other game meat in Alaska. He actually craves black bear meat. He'll beg me for a steak of it. Uh, and I agree. It, uh, it doesn't have much gamey taste. It tastes like wild pork, really. Uh, but yeah, black bear meat, and people don't realize that. They're like, ah, oh, because they see black black bears in the garbage can, and they, they don't think of it as a meat bear. But uh, the, the poor people in Alaska actively hunt uh, black bears as a game animal because it's a, a cheap hunt, and you can fill your freezer with black bear meat. It's kind of cool. There's so many of them. Uh, Alaska residents allowed like five black bears a year. So you can, if you got a spot and you live way out, you could just go get a black bear, a couple black bears in the spring and fill your freezer and uh, the meat is good. I, I like just turning it all into burger and then I'll just make spaghetti or cheeseburgers or whatever. But yeah, people don't realize how good uh, black bears are. More people probably hunt them for the, try to make mounts or rugs out of them. But uh, I, I hunt black bears for meat. And then the claws and the and the furs like my secondary thing i enjoy yes 458 win mag out of a contender pistol had to try it once Ooh, that's that just sounds painful so yeah i will be hunting with the uh 270 for sure and the 4570 probably those i will be hunting with the most but uh there are, are a couple hunts that i am going to bring the heavy 300 win mag out that'll be interesting if I had the money, I would buy the, uh, what is it, that saw that uh, Juan has. I think it's like $8,000. And I would carry like a 15-pound saw out and hunt with it just to piss people off, say I could do it. Ruger makes a guide gun, 338 with a removable muzzle brake, $1,000. Not bad. I really like Ruger rifles. I still need to get the Scout, too. Scout rifle would be nice. In 308, I miss having a 308. That's the uh, first time in a long time I haven't had a 308. Shout out for Zevia Soda. Try out grape Dr. Z. Pretty tasty stuff. Yeah, this stuff is pretty good. No sugar, no calories. It's better than uh, just drinking Diet Mountain Dew all day on your chat, burping all the time. So what else can we talk about? What have I been talking about? All I've been talking about is bears, uh, with guys around at work, so... Yeah, we'll start planning out the hunts. Hopefully Chuck will get his brown bear this year. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a really big brown bear. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know how the meat goes. And I think that's it for today. I'm going to sign out. Um, Internet's a little slow. Sorry for the lagging. But I will see you guys next Sunday. Thanks for tuning in. All right, it's Chuck signing out.